Hi, this is Rolly Girl. Welcome to the final tour of my Minuteman castle build. This was a whole lot of fun to do, and I finally got it all decorated. It took me a while longer than I thought, but it is done and I am ready to show you everything. So we'll start out here at the main gate. As you can tell, we have the guard tower up top there. All of the guards seem to be standing outside today instead of up at their posts for some reason. But before we head inside, I'll show you over here. This is where we have all of our livestock. Chickens, rabbits, Brahmin. There's even a Brahma Luff right here. This is where everybody lives. The chickens have their own little house over here. Plenty of places for them to rest and get out of the sun or the rain. Plenty of places to eat. So that's our little livestock area. Now I'll take you in the front gate here. And I will show you the guard tower. Yeah. Yes. And as you can tell, we have Minutemen guards posted pretty much everywhere. All right, so this is a secure area. Our Minuteman guards are the only people who are allowed up here. Of course, they decided not to stay up here right now, but that's okay. More room to walk around and show you everything in here. They have plenty of ammo, a place to sit and have their lunch. We've got the machine guns and all of our guard stations here for them. And of course, this side has the same as the other, plenty of ammo, so they shouldn't run out. Okay, before we head inside the castle itself, I want to show you, look at that. Guess who showed up? The Brotherhood of Steel. Around the side here, this is our water treatment facility. We have a spotlight on it at night to have it lit up. We have a couple of maintenance technicians who come out here and make sure that the water filtration systems are working properly. So they have all of their tools and benches and ladders, everything they may need to work on these pumps or filtration systems. All right, so we're gonna head back to the main gate. Welcome to the castle. When you first head into the castle, you'll see straight ahead here, our big communications center. So let's check that out first. Inside here, this is where we have our main communications center for the Minutemen. We've got all of our computer terminals, our radios, and this is the gentleman who runs Radio Freedom for us. Howdy, General. Hello. So we have some good stations set up here for everyone to help broadcast our signal. Second floor right here. This is our, I guess you could call it our observation center. Or maybe you could even call it the spy center. This is where we keep an eye on the Commonwealth. The Institute aren't the only people who can keep an eye on things. So we've got all of our computer terminals. We even tapped into the Institute's cameras so we're able to see what's going on around the Commonwealth. And then the top floor here of our communication center This is where we produce our newspaper. We have a newspaper called the Minutemen newspaper. I know that's really original, but hey, we're the Minutemen. So we have some people that work day in and day out, preparing the paper and getting it sent out to the Commonwealth. Piper and Diamond City has allowed us to put our paper out there as well. And we actually keep some of her papers here too. So, of course, we have our printing presses over here. And then all of the little desks where our reporters and writers sit. Okay, I'm going to head back downstairs 
and we will start the tour downstairs and work our way back up in just a little bit. So as you enter the castle over to the right hand side here you'll see our armory. We have a gun shop and an armorer right here. So if you want to come up to the windows and purchase your supplies quickly you sure can. Otherwise, if you want to take a look at things a little bit better, you can come in here to our military surplus shop. The last time I had green fingernails. That's really gross. They say inappropriate things to me all the time. So we'll kind of ignore him and I'll let you take a look here inside the weapon shop. These are things that are available for purchase right here. And at the shop here as well. These two little shops, you can I'm purchase your good. ammo or you can purchase your weapons. Now back here is where Ronnie normally is in our official Minuteman armory. This is restricted to only Minutemen officers or the Minutemen guards and of course Ronnie. Everyone else that lives here, is, such as our settlers and things, they do not have access to this. Ronnie right now must be somewhere else. She is usually standing here guarding the door. But we'll just have a look at everything here while she's not here. Fully stocked with everything you could possibly think of in here. We even have a couple of lockers back here that the guards will keep their items in. Lots of weapons, lots of ammo. All right, so we'll head back out of here. Got work to do. Can't talk now. <laughs> These guys are so busy. Oh, here's Ronnie. She's standing over here. This is the hole in the wall. This is our little bar and grill. It's open at night, mainly. Sometimes people will stop in for lunch. And I wanted to show you the little basketball. We've got a place here for some people to play. And of course, back here in the corners where we have the garbage and our ice machine for the grill. We'll take a look inside. A good reminder Howdy. of what we're fighting for. Everybody likes to talk to you as you walk past. Also, everybody leaves all the doors open. So everywhere we go, there's going to be an open door. At night, this place is full of Minutemen and settlers coming in to have some dinner, to have a drink. Got a nice little bar here. And back here in the corner is where the kitchen is. Where we make the wonderful food. So this is our nice little hole in the wall bar and grill. All right, we're just gonna head back out the front door here. And I don't even know why I'm bothering to close that. It'll just be opened again. So Ronnie decided she's hanging out here today. So over here on this side, we have a little diner window. You can- you gotta take things one day at a time. You're right. She didn't say anything inappropriate. That's good. You can purchase food directly from our two vendors right here. You can take it to go, or you can sit out here and eat at the tables. But our Minutemen mess hall is just inside these doors here. This is the kitchen for the mess hall. We've got our little cook there. Always ready to serve. And right inside here, out, you should go. Whole place is run by robots. This is our mess hall for the Minutemen. During the day, this is pretty much where everybody comes and eats when the bar and grill is closed. So, drink stations over here. Then we've got the fully stocked buffet, I guess you call it. We've got our buffet full of food. Plenty of places to sit. Then we've got our dessert bar over here. little bit of overflow on the dessert and our coffee bar. 
So this is a nice place to come in and sit and have something to eat during the day. Oh, and here, there's public occurrences. That's Piper's paper right there. So we have these little stands right here trouble, I hope. for just in case you're on in a rush and just want to grab something to eat. You don't want to come in and eat. You don't have to. Over here, this is our butcher section. And there was someone just here working on the meat a few minutes ago. They must have decided to take a break. But we've got our butcher right here. And then we've got the person who processes the fish that we catch. Right beside him there. I'm not going to go through those double doors right now. We will go in that section in just a moment. I wanted to show you first the general store. We'll head inside and take a look here. A fully stocked store with anything you could possibly think of. I don't know where half of these people are. There are usually people stationed at all of these shops, but everybody must be off doing other things right now. I told them we'd be doing this tour and I wanted them in their positions, but you know how that goes. I guess I should tell you what everything is. So we've got our little bath section over here. And we've got drinks food and appliances or I don't know what you would even call these little things little kitchen doodads all up top over here's the hardware section fully stocked we have a little bit of clothing here and then all kinds of toys So this is our little general store. Okay, we'll go around the corner here. I'll show you everything in the courtyard first before we head back inside the walls. This is our little maintenance shed. So we've got our workbench here, hidden away. We've got a little armor bench as well. And this is where our electricity is housed, right here. Everything that is inside the castle here is powered by that. Except for the water out, the uh, water filtration system out back. That has its own little generator out there. There's dog meat. He looks a little sad. Next up is our barber shop. This is a nice, cute little place. You can come on in, get your hair cut, or get a shave. Just a simple little barber shop. Everybody's gotta have one. Okay. Now, we'll go ahead and head inside. And I will show you... Our clinic and hospital area. There we go. So these doors I did not go through. This is the butcher shop. The fishmonger. All right there. So this is our clinic. Pharmacy. If you don't need to be admitted to the hospital, he will see you and dispense Thank your you. meds. It's like I can finally think straight. <laughs> He's so happy he got a new Coca-Cola. He decided to be our doctor. So we'll head this direction and I will show you the hospital. This is for people who are more sick or injured people. We have some newspapers in here, some lockers for the personal items. Everybody gets their own reading material as well, so they have something to do. We usually have a nurse that sits here at the desk to make sure everybody's doing well and to give out the medications as necessary, but she's not sitting here right now. That's our little hospital. Over here is our surgery center. 
And there's a head in a jar. Looks like it's bubbling. <laughs> That's kind of gross. So we've got our little surgery chair sitting here. And of course we've got a surgery table as well. In case you need something a little bit more extensive. And then finally the last part of the medical center is going to be right here in this little spot. This is where we make all of the chems. Okay, I'm going to go back out this way. We'll come back in the other door in just a moment. All right, let's just head back this direction. And we're going to head into the Hall of Justice. This is the main area for the Minutemen offices, conference room, and some quarters as well. So this is just where we were inside the other doors here. Normally they're closed, but everyone likes to open doors and leave them open. So this is where you will come in when you're ready to come in to have the conferences with the Minutemen. We have someone that sits here and greets you. They have plenty of terminals here to work at. Now these two rooms here are personal quarters. This is Preston's quarters right here. He's got a nice room. And then next door to this is the general quarters. My quarters. Mine is a little bit nicer. I have my own television. Really nice bed. Nice furniture. If we keep going down the hall here, to the left is our Minutemen conference room. This is where we talk about who we're going to help next, what settlement we need to go and take over, what we're going to do about the Brotherhood of Steel that just showed up. We have a little bit of texture issues going on. I've got so much here at the castle, so you might notice some things going a little bit goofy in the background. And then finally down this hall right here, this is a nice little library leading into the general's office, my office. And I cannot believe those doors were closed. They are never closed. That was amazing. But this is my office. This is where I'll sit and think. I love that fire. So from here, I think we'll just go ahead and head up and I can show you what's going on on the second floor here. This first tower is dedicated to storage. So we have our overflow of weapons and ammo right here. So whatever we need to replenish in the armory, it comes from here. Oh, it's getting dark outside. It's beautiful out there. We also have weapons and armor workbenches in here. So we'll just head down the hall here. And I will show you everybody's living quarters coming up. We actually have two towers dedicated to living quarters for the Minutemen. On the bottom level is the showers and latrine, lockers, Towels, mirrors, community showering and community bathing. But you do get a private toilet to yourself. So the second floor, this is where the first of the two Minutemen bunk rooms are. 
Oh, somebody's been in here. The door's open. They've got their lockers with some personal items. Everybody has their own little something at their beds. Very nice. So let's head back down and out. We'll keep on going down the hall here. These windows are used a lot by the Minutemen guards who patrol. Sometimes you'll see them standing here taking a look outside. While we're here, I want to show you the gardens. I haven't showed you that yet. So we have gardens on either side of the communications center and actually our general store and the hole in the wall bar and grill are built up under them. It's getting kind of dark so I think I'm going to change it to daylight so you can see a little bit better. That's better. All right so we have garden number one right here. These are cute little potted plants. Little mini harvestables. We even have some tar berries in the bucket. This is the smaller of the two gardens. I'll go straight through the building here and show you garden number two. This is the bigger of the two gardens. Both of these gardens give us more than enough food for everyone here at the castle. We actually have enough that we can ship it to our other locations. There is Preston, and he looks like he's got his foot in a bucket. Okay, Preston, that's all right. Someone seems to be over here in the corner working too. Yeah. Couple people out working in the garden today. Over here we have our smaller crops, just like the other side. All right, so this is our blacksmith. Complete with the forge, all kinds of materials and things there. Went ahead and put an armor bench here as well. We've got a weapons bench up top. We've got places to work on power armor on either side here. We even have a smoking flamingo at the window. He has a great view. So there is really no second level to the blacksmith shop. We just built on a little bit of a viewing area here. It's a nice view. Okay, let's continue on down the corridor. Right now we are actually at the front entrance of the castle. You can see everybody down there. We'll continue on. This is the second set of showers and latrine for our Minutemen. Again, public showering and bathing, but you get your own private bathroom. Oh, there's June. Hey, June. I wanted June to work at the clinic, but he's still kind of depressed. He didn't want to stay with Marcy in Sanctuary and asked if he could come here. So I said, yes, he certainly could. So here we are in bunkhouse number two. And before we head back downstairs, I will show you what's up on the roof. 
Hmm, don't mind that cram there. <laughs> so, on top of the barracks, we have... I forget what these things are called. The mortars? I think that's what they're called. And then we've got a little area for the Minutemen to sit and have their break. Same exact thing on the opposite end at the other barracks over there. So I probably won't take you and show you that. But you get the idea. Because the Brotherhood of Steel just moved in, we're starting to put up some defenses over there on that tower that's more facing the big Pridwin over there, just in case something happens so we can protect ourselves. All right, we're going to head back inside and continue on our way. We have some cannons here in the hallway. Those are pretty much just for show. I imagine they probably still work, but we haven't tried them out since we moved in. Down there are the animals. That's why they're so loud. All right, so this is our dungeon. Right now we only have one prisoner and one guard stationed in here. But we've got shackles on the walls. Oh, two guards. Hello. It's dark and dank in here. Just like a tower dungeon should be. Yeah. Oh, there's one of our guards right there. Walking the perimeter here. One day, we'll put this back together. Better than ever. There we go. That's is, this is what they do. They come over and stand at these windows and take a look. This is yeah. really a great view from here. You can see the docks out there, which we will get a closer look at pretty soon. So we're all the way back around to where the extra weapons and things are, but I didn't show you the second level, so we're going to do that real quick. Here we have just general storage. Of course, this is the storage tower. And inside the room here, we've got all of the Minutemen power armor that we have collected. We don't normally use it, but when we're dealing with really big enemies, such as probably the Brotherhood of Steel over there, Wherever, are, wherever they are, yeah, over there. <laughs> We're probably going to need it. So this is the view of everything from up top the wall here. It's pretty nice. Pretty big. I have showed you everything inside the castle, inside the walls, and inside the towers. So now we're going to head outside... So, I am just going to jump down here, and we are going to go out this little door, the back entrance, or back exit, and take a look at what we have going on outside here. Of course, we have our guards stationed here, too, so that we don't get any surprises from this end. This is our dock and warehouse area. We've got all of our fishing boats, and these boats also run supplies for us. That's a little better. Nice and bright again. Huh? So this is our little warehouse where the boats will bring in supplies. And we'll store them here temporarily before we move them into the castle or until we decide we need to take them to another settlement. We've got our big crane over here. The boats will come up a little bit closer than where that one is right now. And we'll get the supplies off of the boats and up here. So we'll head down and I'll show you the yes. dock a little bit closer. So again, some of these are fishing boats. And some of these are boats that move supplies, like this one here. You can see it still has some supplies in there.
And at the end, we have even a little spot to do some fishing. It's a beautiful view from here. You can even see Spectacle Island over there. So we're going to continue around the corner here, because you can see we have some things going on over there. Oh, there's our guard standing there. She's still yes. there. That's pretty cool. So around the castle here to the left, this is our fish farm. This is where we catch all of our fish locally. We do have the boats that go out and catch fish and bring it back. But we have someone that lives here in this place that actually does all the fishing for the castle locally. And you can even see the fish in there. You can really get a good look at the house from this angle, but that weird texture thing's happening again. There we go. Now you can see it a little better. So we'll head back up here. I will show you the houses. Of course, we have a fish cleaning station outside here, too. But this is a fish bait and tackle shop as well as a place for the family to live. I'll head inside and show you. So when you come in the front door, you're actually coming into the shop. And they sell all kinds of things to make your own tackle or your own bait. They've got scissors and little saws. Everything you can think of that you might need for your fishing trip. Buckets. Then we've got fish that you can use to catch fish with. I guess we'll just say it's live bait. Or if you want to just purchase some already caught fish, you can do that too. Now behind this door that says employees only, this is where the family lives that works this fish farm. Their living room area is downstairs. They have trophies for their fishing competitions that they've won. Upstairs is the kitchen and the little eating area. They have a nicely stocked kitchen here. The kids have a little place to play. Mom and Dad, their room is right here behind the little screen for some privacy. And the kids actually share a room in here. Two little kids, little boy on this side and little girl on this side. Then they have a really nice Gorgeous view out here off of this front porch. Look at that. Some chairs and some benches out here to enjoy that beautiful view. It's just gorgeous. I'd sit here every day and look at this. So let's go next door and see the little house that's next door. Here we have another little house. These people here don't work at the fish farm. They just wanted a nice little shack outside of the walls where they could live and sit and look at that beautiful view, do their cooking out here actually. And they have a few plants too. And here we go. So as you can tell, they do most of the cooking outside. They don't really have a full kitchen in here. The refrigerator doesn't work. They don't care. As you can tell, they might have a little bit of a drinking problem. And the bedroom is right here. Nice and private. 
away by itself. It's a nice little simple place for one or two people. We can't forget the outhouse. These two houses here share this outhouse. Nothing too spectacular. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you. He has a nice little hidden ice box back here where he keeps his beer nice and cold. Since his refrigerator inside doesn't work, he's got himself an ice box out back. Thank you so much for watching this tour. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that you get some inspiration for your own castle build. This turned out so well. I'm so pleased with it. It looks absolutely great. Thank you to everybody who gave me ideas for the build. You guys came up with some great ideas, and I really appreciate it. I'll see you all in my next build video. Bye-bye.